I'm Sam Richardson, and I've never had a... Oh, no. <laughs> Surely there's nothing weird about this. Hi, I'm Sam Richardson uh, from HBO's V. Born and raised in Detroit. Mm-hmm. Father and mother from Ghana. Uh, my father's from Detroit. My mother's from Ghana. Oh, your mother's from Ghana. Uh-huh. Cool, cool. Sam, what we're going to do right now is we're going to bring you something. Okay. You're just going to dive right in. Oh, the presentation. A fish and uh, crackers. I don't know what kind of fish this is. It's like cut on, on top of onions. It's pickled herring. I've never had pickled, pickled herring before. I mean, am I supposed to eat the, it was this onions? Yeah, you can put a little onions on top of it. Woo! <laughs> Very Scandinavian. I like all food. This is good. I like salty things. Salty can win out over anything. I could eat any, almost anything. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Hopefully we're gonna test that. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Famous last words. I felt that the first bite, the cracker, kind of overwhelms it, because it's like, like kind of sweet-ish. Mm -hmm. So like, that's like most of the taste. And like, so then like, the um, herring just kind of provides like a little bit of uh, texture, like soft texture, and, and salt, honestly. Yeah. Who I'm doing out of mostly. And then like, of course, fish. But I'm gonna t try this on its own and see kind of what. Yeah, without the cracker. It's kind of plain, you know? If I saw this on the menu, I probably wouldn't order it for myself. If the fifth annual Sam Richardson Scandinavian dinner comes up in a year, as they do every year, mm -hmm. uh, it's probably gonna be the, towards the back of the table. So you had a series, a very beloved series, Detroiters. Mm -hmm. Your roots are very deep Michigan. Yes. And you yes. always seem to harken back to it. I mean, I, I, I feel everybody from Detroit like reps Detroit so hard. Yeah, the D. The D. The mighty, mighty D. Since you constantly honor your past, we want to give you something that does that for you too. <laughs> Detroit pizza. <laughs> yeah. And then we also have one extra thing. We found out you may have a favorite flavor of something, so we went and got it for you. Oh, yes! <laughs> Diet Figure Red Pop. Uh, it's the, it's, we call it pop because that's what it is. Other people call things uh, soda and stuff, which makes no sense. It pops. It doesn't soda. And Red Pop really means strawberry, <laughs> but <laughs> why not just cut to the chase, let you know it's Red Pop. And they make diet now, so it's uh, worry and guilt free. Um, <laughs> Take my check, thank you, Fago. Many juggalos will be sending you. <laughs> oh no, that's such an unfair thing. They've taken it over entirely. They have. I'm like, I, I am not a juggalo. <laughs> We're talking about, mm. You know that like, uh, <laughs> Little Caesars is a Detroit pizza? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mess up some Little Caesars, I really do. Yeah. They're deep dish. But uh, I also love Buddy's Pizza. Classic. Classic. It's, you know, it's just so good. There's this place, Pizza Popolis, yeah. I used to order from all the time. They had this like deep dish seafood pizza yeah. that I'd get. It used to be my like charming thing. Like I'd have a date and be like, hey, let's go back to my house. We'll order some deep dish pizza. And I'd order a seafood pizza. Probably the worst thing that you want in your stomach. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For your canoodle. Uh, it's never worked out. Mm. <laughs> Detroiters, tell me what that series kind of meant to you and your kind of like whole trajectory. My, my best friend Tim Robinson and I, we both like came up through Detroit in the improv scene and then like we went to Chicago and everybody was so annoyed to be like, yeah, we get it, you're from Detroit. Tim, Tim moved to New York, I moved to LA. And then we were like, we got, the, we got a chance to pitch a show and it was so important to us that it be about Detroit. That's the first thing, period. Yeah. It's like, it's about Detroit and it's about us as friends. Having that show was such a great opportunity to get to bring something home to Detroit, have a love letter to the city, and just get to spend time with my best friend uh, and just get to kind of do the kind of jokes that we want to do, R write the kind of comedy that we appreciate. Yeah. So it was a great opportunity to do that. We got to do it for two seasons. Awesome. Uh, I think it was a great, phenomenal, phenomenal. Man. Thank you yeah, very phenomenal. much. And that's why we wanted to like, Asking about Detroiters while giving, serving you up some Detroit. I mean, this is this is a great day. I appreciate it, <laughs> yeah, truly. Yeah. I'm sorry we're going to have to take this away from you now. <laughs> you can try. <laughs> so this next item that we're bringing you, in its pure form, 
it may be a little too much mm -hmm. for people to handle. Okay. So we're giving you kind of the introduction to it and something very familiar. Oh. <laughs> I was like, it's nothing. <laughs> no, it's ice cream. Surely there's nothing weird about this. No, why don't you give that ice cream a smell? This sewage ice cream? It is durian ice cream. Durian ice cream. Well, let's do it. I'm not familiar with durian uh, fruit, but now I'm about to be. That takes some work. <laughs> now, oftentimes in Asia, it's illegal to take durian on massive transit. Oh, really? I'm actually into it now. You are? Mm -hmm. After the first one? Yeah. My brain just has to click, and then it's fine. You can tell the part of it that is ice cream, and you can tell the part of it that is not ice cream. You yeah. know? Um, that part's like, like I, don't, I don't say bitter, but it's like, it's, I, think, I think wood is like honestly like yeah. that. That kind of just like a Home Depot Sunday, <laughs> exactly. What's what's next up for you? Uh, well, next up, uh, I've been working on a few movies, but I've got a movie coming out uh, that I'm in called uh, Good Boys. It's a really funny movie produced by uh, Seth Rogen, up and comer. You guys, it's a name to look out for. Yeah. Uh, remember the name, Seth Rogen. Yeah. <laughs> and then I did another movie called uh, Super Intelligence that comes out Christmas time. This will wise off. A uh, super intelligent AI wreaks havoc on planet Earth, and Wilson McCarthy is the only one who can stop it. You're going in on that ice cream. I can it. tell you, my brain is just like, hey, always take in nutrients. Okay. That's my. <laughs> yeah. That comes from my spine. <laughs> <laughs> Fifty years down the road. You have grandkids or young children running around. What's that? What's that one memory from Pete that you're going to relay to them about this time in your life? It'll honestly really be about those table reads. Yeah. The table reads for for Veep are always so much fun because like we're all most of us are reading it for the first time and we really enjoy each other and like we know the characters. So hearing the jokes come out of the people, like you, you sit next to Gary Cole and you're hearing Gary Cole read his lines. I love nothing more, yeah. you know? Seeing Tim's like, we're hearing Julia like deliver these things, like it's in its purest form, you know? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I will always miss those the most. I'll, I'll be telling my grandkids about that in 50 years. Are you sure you want to it? No, I'm okay, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> this last round, your character Richard <laughs> on Veep, he has this thing where he's, so loyal to people that are awful to him. <laughs> In honor of Richard closing out this series, we wanted to do something for someone who was awful to you, and we okay. want to right that wrong. All right. And it's a present from <gasps> us at Munchie. Oh my goodness. For you. I'm very excited. And it's so well wrapped. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> That's amazing. When I was in ele elementary school, I think it was like I was, I was in like fourth grade. Uh, I had a Stretch Armstrong. And pa Patrick Carey just like had it, and he was like licking on it, and then he bit it, and like all the the, the juice of him seeped out. And it all seeped out into my toy box. <laughs> so it was, everything was covered in, uh, it was uh, corn syrup. And so like he was like a deflated Stretch Armstrong. I've never forgiven him to this day, Patrick. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna play with him. <laughs> oh, it was like my favorite toy too. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and like he can spin around and he spins back. This is the greatest. Thank you so no much. No problem. There are good people in the world. <laughs> Stretch. Oh, I didn't break it. <laughs> I, got a, I got a new sun and some pop. Yeah. Thank you, Munchies. <laughs> <laughs>